Hey everybody, it's Alan, and I hope you are doing well. Today is March 7th, and that is the birthday of the Jay Giles Band lead vocalist, Mr. Peter Wolf. We're going to pay tribute to Peter and the Jay Giles Band by playing two songs. I'm going to play the song On Borrowed Time, which I think does a really good job of showing Peter's more soulful side. And then, of course, we're going to play the, um, the Jay Giles Band classic, Looking for Love. Okay, so I'm about to say something that to some people might seem a little controversial, but I was thinking about it as I was listening to this particular track on Borrowed Time this particular time. What band in the U.S. most closely resembles the Rolling Stones? I'm listening to this particular track, and I can hear a Stone song in there. I mean, I can hear the inspiration that the Rolling Stones probably provided to the Jay Giles band for a number of years. And although Peter's voice isn't as smooth and, well... I don't know. I don't. I never really particularly thought Mick Jagger's voice was the greatest voice of all time, but he's an idol, so I'm going to tread that line softly. But the reality of it is, I think, in a way, the Jay Giles Band may be the closest America has ever produced to the actual Rolling Stones. At least that's my opinion. Some people might say the Black Crows, but I don't really hear the Black Crows as much in the Stone sound as I hear what Jay Giles has done. With that said, here's Looking for Love. Somebody help me. Somebody help me.
not your classic lead vocalist, if you will. Definitely had his own tone and his own timber. Um, not that classic, smooth, you know, deep, soulful voice, you know, like a Paul Rogers or anything like that. Um, but there's something about Peter Wolf's voice that's just really dynamic. And it definitely harkens back to the day of just a good old fashioned bar band, which is basically what the Jay Giles band were. Um, and they're not the only ones. I mean, ZZ Top was a classic bar band, too. And uh, so many others, George Thorogood and the Delaware Destroyers. And I mean, the list goes on and on and on, to be honest with you. But there's something about what Jay Giles had and Peter Wolf had as a front man and a lead vocalist that just had this really authentic sound. And uh, I've always appreciated it. Uh, of course, it kind of helps that they sort of formed in Boston, which is kind of the area that I'm from. So I got a little bit of a hometown bias when it comes to this. Um, but still, it doesn't diminish the, the quality of the music and just sort of the feel and vibe of the entire composition. That said, happy birthday to Peter Wolf. I hope you all enjoyed this. Please feel free to leave a comment on the comment section below. We can talk about it further. Just know that I really appreciate all of you, and I wish you well. Take care.